Pawan Kalyan, once a box office king, has now proved his mettle in the world of politics too. Five years after he lost both the assembly seats he contested, the Jan Sena chief has not just made it to the Andhra Pradesh assembly, but he is now the deputy chief minister of the state. On Wednesday afternoon, in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, CM Chandrababu Naidu and his family, including his wife Anna, brother Chiranjeevi, nephew Ram Charan, and megastar Rajni Khan, Pawan Kalyan took oath as the new deputy CM. Now, we've been speaking at length about his film and political career since he clinched his big victory how he's receiving love and support from everywhere. So today, we thought, why not talk about his biggest support system, his wife, Anna. In fact, Kalyan's homecoming moment, which saw Anna welcoming her husband with Aarti, had gone viral all over the internet. and Pavan met while shooting for their 2011 film Teen Mar. Soon they fell in love and dated for two years before getting married on September 30, 2013. Anna is Pavan Kalyan's third wife. Anna and Pavan became parents to a baby boy in 2017. She was already a mother to daughter Paulina from her first marriage. The actor's second marriage was with his longtime live-in girlfriend Renu Desai. They had met on the sets of Badri in 2000, after which they decided to live in. They got married in 2009 after Pavan finalized his divorce from his first wife. Renu and Pavan have two children together. They got divorced in 2012. As for his first marriage, Pavan and Nandini were set up by family. A year after his debut in Tollywood film industry in 1996, Pavan Kalyan tied the knot with 19-year-old Nandini in 1997. Little is known about Nandini and her background. However, we do know that she filed a case against him in 2007, accusing him of bigamy. Their divorce was settled in 2008 after the actor paid Nandini an alimony of Rs 5 crore as a one-time settlement. The rest, well, we've told you already. Do share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to Shosha for more such content.